As per a report by CW Jobs, a typical office worker sends and receives 140 mails a day, which over the year creates as much carbon dioxide as flying from Mumbai to Goa or watching 955 movies. A lot of us think stuff saved on cloud is outside the computer or mobile hardware, so it will not use energy. However, once you ask your device to save something on the cloud, it is transmitted by the Wi-Fi router to the internet provider, then to the data center. In every process, huge amount of electricity is used. As per a recent report by Ovo Energy, which is a major energy supplier in the UK, it said that Britishers send 64 million unnecessary emails every single day and pleasantries such as thank you and thanks, they top the list in this case. If each UK adult sends one less thank you email every day, it could save about 16,433 tons of carbon a year. Digital waste, of course, has grown exponentially over the last decade as storage of data such as emails, pictures, audio and video files has increased. And that's why companies are focusing on better data center energy management, manufacturing electronics that process lesser power and also compression techniques for images and videos that is to make the storage capacity or the size smaller. Dell, Microsoft and Google, they've joined initiative to create circular economy from electronics and Dell also said that half of the materials used will be recyclable and Google pledged to make all hardware from recycled material. In fact, Google was among the first internet companies to take action to reduce energy consumption at the data centers. It is trying to promote efficient computing and seeking to increase the use of renewable energy as well. There's a lot that can be done by us on individual level as well, right? Try to reuse electronics as much as possible. And after use, try to get it to the recycling company. Postpone upgrading the gadget for as long as possible. And of course, I know we all like to share only pleasantries on email, but sometimes it's best not to do so for the sake of the environment.